got more numbers. Uh, I think more important than the numbers is the um, is the quality of the numbers. I mean, we got I think 23 walk-ons in our program right now. We'll have a walk-on tryout the first week of school, which has been very important. But there's been times, I don't know what the number is right now, but there's been times while we've been here, I think at one point we had seven guys on our roster that never played high school football before. Guys that came out to the walk-on tryout, I felt, I felt like they could help us in some way. You know, there's not too many guys walking around this campus that have a 1,400 SAT, a, a 3.9 GPA, a 35 on the ACT, and are also six foot five, 250 pounds that want to play SEC football. So, um, you know, like everything, we're creative and we make things work. Are there a few of those guys that may contribute this year uh, on the field? Yeah, I, I think so. I think Hudson's a really good example. He's pre-med guy here, doing extremely well. He's probably improved as much as anybody. I think he's got a chance to, to you know, maybe start for us. Uh, we haven't decided that yet, but he's competing right now with Colby Kick for the punting job and uh, for Colby Cook. I said kick because he's kicking uh, for the for the punting job. Um, well, I decided actually after I had ended my senior season of high school. So um, the very last game playing, I thought you know it was going to be my last and. Uh, um, got into school, applied by myself, not even thinking of um, kind of playing here. You know, I got small offers from Ohio schools, but wanted to go to school for school and then uh, had the opportunity to get in, get in contact with some of the coaching staff. And um, they came up and said that they wanted me to come down for camp and um, just saw it as a blessing and an opportunity and uh, decided I'd try my luck. Yeah. When I was leaving high school, I, I got recruited by a bunch of Division three and a couple of Division twos, and I was looking at the Ivies and stuff. And then one of my friends who was already at Vandy, a year ahead of me, said that they were looking for like walk-ons and stuff here. And so I went and I came and talked to Coach Franklin, and uh, that was that was about it for me because he brought me out on the field and he was a pretty good recruiter. <laughs> and uh, I was sold after that. Yeah. I came here. I tried out for some club sports. I did club wrestling, uh, club lacrosse, and I really didn't get a feel like it was. A, I didn't really get a good team feel from it. I didn't feel like I was a part of something real and solid that I had experienced in high school. I played. I wrestled and played football and lacrosse in high school as well. And um, so I missed that aspect. But I continued with those. And then me and my friend Hunter Bowman, number 51 on the team, he uh, walked. We went to the UConn game together. Um, my freshman year okay. and when we were a part of that saw the team success um, we really started to get excited and pumped up together and we started talking about walking on so we trained for a little bit uh, got in contact with the coaches and we ended up walking on together uh, luckily fortunately made the team and haven't looked back since one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life love every single person on this team best people I've met on this campus and would, wouldn't wouldn't change it